Hey guys, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be making a chicken papai. So first thing I'm doing is my dough. I use, um, you could, is for the dough, you're going to need short shortening, but I don't like using shortening, so I'm using unsalted butter. I am not going to add salt to my dough. To, to for the crust so I use this is what I have left from one stick of butter so I use um, seven teaspoon of butter I'm kneading it together and then I'm going to be adding um, ice water one teaspoon at a time into I get the consistency that I want and make sure that your ice water is actually cold. But that's what's gonna help you create your good dough. Um, like I said, you could add a little bit of salt. For Popeye dough, you just need the shortening, your ice water to make your dough, and salt to your taste. But I am not adding salt. Um, my husband bought a rotisserie chicken yesterday, again, and we had leftovers, so there's a lot of meat in it, so I'm going to be making a papaya. So I'm going to be um, doing my dough. When I get the consistency that I want, I will show you what the dough is supposed to look like. All right, guys, now that I needed my dough here in the bowl, I'm going to put it on the counter. To knead it a little more so I could divide it in half because one half is going to be the bottom part of the pie and the other one will be the top part so, um, you're going to do this to your dough and your dough is going to rest in the refrigerator for 35 minutes to 45 minutes so meanwhile, what is that happening, I'm going to um, take all the chicken out of my rotisserie chicken that I have left. So I'm going to do that. So <coughs> all right, babe, be careful, okay? Mm -hmm. Guys, it's been raining here since yesterday, and it feels a little raw. It's really windy right now. At least the rain stopped a little bit, so I was able to go and walk the dogs. All right, guys, so I'm going to divide this dough in half. One is going to be for the top of the pie, and one is going to be for the bottom. Guys, this video is part of the open collaboration quick and easy meal, guys. Um, I will leave the recipe in the bottom of the description box below. Um, so you guys can use it and try yourself to make some homemade Popeyes, guys. So I'll be back once I take all the chicken out of the rotisserie chicken, the bones. All right, guys, I got this much chicken, which is a lot. It's about a cup and a little bit more. And then this is what I had left from the chicken. You guys know that I do not like to have chicken stuff that come in a box because it's full of preservatives. So I'm going to make my own chicken stock with this. I'm going to let it boil for 20 minutes. On high, I will add some salt, pepper, um, and whatever else I want on my chicken pot pie. But I'm going to give you the basics of a chicken pot pie. But mine, I will be adding some garlic, my own spices, the way my husband like it. But I'm going to give you the original recipe, okay? So... I'm going to post you right there, guys. And this video is part of the collaboration, Quick and Easy Meals. 
This is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, myself, Deborah Cabasa, Home Living, and Jean Home Decor, and more. Guys, I will leave the links in the bottom of the description box below so you guys can go and check them out. And also check out the Grace Life DIY community tab for all the open collaborations she have there to offer to you guys to participate. So meanwhile, my dough is sitting in the refrigerator resting. So I'm going to uh, let that boil and then I will continue to show you the inside of the chicken pot pie. All right, guys. Oh, and also a call for frozen peats and carrots, but I have a kind of mixed vegetable and that's what I'm going to use since my husband likes corn. So it's going to have corn. Anyways, guys, I'm using what I have. I'm not going to go out and shop. And also I'm going to be bringing you um, uh, pumpkin. My husband won Danish with pumpkin, um, pumpkin cream cheese Danish. So that's going to be also be part of this video, guys. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. I called for a stick of butter in the pan, but I didn't do that. I have a couple stuck here. I added my, um, I added half a stick of butter because the chicken, you know, it released the fat so i got a cup and a little more but i'm not gonna need all of that so i'm going to add two good amount in there and to that i'm going to add a cup of all-purpose flour stirring it um, they also, um, if you like to add onion, you can add onion. My husband didn't want any onions, so I'm going to add more stock to that. Basically, the about the whole entire cup. So I'm going to stir this really good. It's going to cook a little bit. Remove it from the heat. Keep stirring it. Okay, to that, I'm going to add my can of vegetable. I forgot to open it, so let me pause you guys. I added my um, can of vegetables, and also I added my half a cup of milk. So we're going to do that. This is going to be our pie filling. So to that, we're going to add our chicken. Make sure, guys, that you don't have bones. So I'm going to do that. Stir really good. And if you think that you're going to need more mixture because what I did was I took out some of the um, filling so here it is so now I'm going to add it in there and to that I want to add a little bit of more chicken stock okay remember this is going to bake in your oven for 35 minutes because we are helping the flour to cook on top of the stove. So since we added things to it, make sure you taste for flavor. Mm. That's really good. But I think I need a little bit of salt. I added garlic, guys. Just a little bit of salt. Because you guys know that the rotisserie. Yes, guys, I'm holding the pan with my hand.
our filling is done. Let me taste it again for flavor to make sure it's not missing anything. Perfect. That's perfect. So now I'm going to turn off the stove. I'm going to roll out my dough and then put it in the oven and I'll bring you back for that part of the video. I already rolled out the bottom part of the dough. Now I'm doing the top. Make sure you have flour on your counter because you don't want your dough getting stuck on your counter. You're going to rotate it as it stretches. And the dough feels hard, but it's because it's cold. Remember, it needs to rest for 35 to 45 minutes in the fridge. Make sure you flip it around. Stretch it from both sides. So I'm going to finish stretching this dough. And if you dough give you resistance, just let it rest for two minutes on top of your counter and continue stretching it. It should not give you any resistance, guys. So I will show you when I fill up the pie and put it in the oven. All right, guys. A lot of people cut their crust. I don't, I do in some pies, but in this one I don't. What I do is I bring the bottom crust with the top crust, twist it underneath and press together to make sure the pie is sealed and it does not bubble over. Um, this is a family size pie. My husband works tomorrow. He's gonna have some for dinner and he's gonna take the rest to work. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that the crust is completely pinched all the way around. So then I'm going to do my little um, holes on the top for the pie not to because it needs, it needs holes for the steam to come out or it will pop on you. All right, guys, hold on. I don't know. All right, guys, here is my pie. I did the edge. I did cut some um, crust off. Took me like maybe 10 minutes. I want to make sure it was completely sealed. So I am not going to put a wash on the top. I'm just going to leave it like so. And then we are going to place in the oven for 35 minutes, uh, 350 degrees, because the pie is already uh, cooked inside. It just needs to uh, finish cooking the flour that we added. And depending your oven, it might take less or more time. So I'll be right back with the final result, guys. All right, guys, in the bowl, I put one cream cheese, some pumpkin puree. I bought the Levy brand. It's 100% um, pumpkin um, with no, nothing in it. And then I added a little bit of pumpkin spice. So make sure that your cream cheese is room temperature. Beat it into this nice and mix. And then to that, you're going to add your um, powdered sugar and you're going to continue mixing. And I'm going to, and then I have the puff pastry here. It has to be soft. It's still hot. It was in my freezer. So I'm going to let that thaw. And then I'm going to show you how to make the delicious. I posted a video um, how to make them. And I will link my playlist from all my recent videos. Um, in this uh, video. Like I showed you in a previous video, make sure you take your, even though it's puff pastry, you're going to stretch it. Because remember guys, when you're um, baking this, it's going to puff up. So make sure you stretch it. Even if it's separate, just stretch it, guys. Stretch it. 
All right, I'm gonna finish this one and then I'm gonna show you when I am um, doing the danishes so you guys can learn how to do them, okay? Oh guys, this is the way the Popeye is coming along. There it is in the oven. So it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I stretch it and I cut it in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those eight pieces, you're going to take them and you're going to go like about an inch down and then you're going to split it, okay, all the way down. Make sure you don't split them all the way through, but just an inch all the way down. And that's how you're going to be making your damages. Okay? So since I showed you that part, I'm going to come back at you and show you when I'm making my last Danish. So for you guys to learn. And you guys can do this for the holidays. Uh, you could do apple. You could do, I'm doing pumpkin. Because, of course, guys, it's pumpkin season, and that's what my husband wants. I asked him what he wants for dinner, and this is what he asked for, so that's what I'm doing. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this one is a small one. If this ever happened to you, you're still going to twist it like I showed you in the previous video. You're going to go around it, bring it, pinch it there, okay? Make sure you have that part underneath. Do the same. This is a tiny little one. You could either go the same way and pinch it. And then I took one that was really small. I already have twisted it. So I'm going to go around it and... Pinch it there, and then you're going to take your fork, you're going to do this at the, at the center, so that part doesn't puff up when you fill them up. I'm not going to fill this one up, I already have some in the oven, I'm going to show you the final results, and also I will be showing you the chicken pot pie. Okay? And if you like for them to be nice and shiny, you could just take egg wash and brush them with egg wash before you fill them up. All right, guys? So let me pause you right there, and then I'm going to come back at you with the final results. Well, guys, I've been in the kitchen for over an hour. The Popeye is done, but the reason being is because I am cooking and I'm baking and also cleaning at the same time. So... The papa is done. So you guys can see they don't change color. It's nice and crispy. So now I'm waiting for it to cool down before I serve myself. And the pastry are in the oven. Oh my goodness, guys. My house, my house smells so good. And remember, guys, be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile overall. Stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you, and Debbie also loves you, too. Listen, it will be into the next one. You guys going to see my thumbnail, the pies, and the danishes, what everything turned out to. I just don't want the video to be too long. All right, guys, God bless you all. Bye-bye.